Justin, now if you can take us through the past 24 hours, is it just a feeling of here we go again? Oh, I don't know whether it's a feeling of here we go again. I mean, it is what it is. We um, got the news probably yeah, yesterday morning Perth time that it was likely we we're going to um, move out of Perth that day. Uh, yeah, I was just really impressed with the way the players handled it. You know, they had very little time to pack their bags, get stuff organised. Um, yeah, not one of them whinged or thought, you know, here we go again. It, they just got on with the job. Uh, people at the club are well versed in handling these situations so they got on to their jobs and got everything packed up and before you know it we're, we're here so uh, it's been a bit of a whirlwind. I uh, just spoke to the players about making sure that we put these distractions behind us and we've got a game of footy to win on the weekend so we need to make sure we're real purposeful and focused and get ready for Carlton. Were you held up in the tarmac for a while? Well yeah we were held up for a lot trying to get on the plane. Um, I think as we left the club by the time we left the club to get on the plane, it was about four hours, so it wasn't ideal, but you know, there's a lot to organise. Um, it all happened quick for everyone, and yeah, we'll just move on from that. Justin, do you have a preference for where you play on Sunday? No, no, I don't. Um, we'll just play wherever we get told the game is um, going to be. Um, yeah, don't have a preference at all. Do you have a say uh, in where you can play? Uh, not to my knowledge. Um, yeah, obviously with every club now in Melbourne, grounds are tight. Whether we will be able to get into Tasmania or not, it's a question mark. So, um, yeah, there's still a lot in the air. But one thing I do know is we'll be playing Carlton this weekend and, yeah, we'll prepare for outside of the bargain. Does this put the season on its head? I mean, last year we saw clubs go, in, go away and then struggle and come home and, you know, deal with it differently. Is the season sort of carved out a bit? Well, it's, yeah, it's different. Yeah, it's different, so whichever team team handles it the best is going to get the edge. Um, probably the difference between this year and last year is 10 teams are at home still, um, whereas only two teams were at home last year in Queensland, so there is a bit of a difference there. But the travelling teams are just going to have to handle it, do their bit to keep the season going, and we understand our role in that. Yeah, what did you learn from, from last year that you can bring into this uh, Well, just get on with it. Yeah, it is what it is. Just we need to be really focused and purposeful and um, we've already had that message to the players. Um, you know, we've been here and done that before, we've done it this year as well, went to Queensland earlier in the year for a two game spell so um, yeah we're experienced at it, um, doesn't make it easier but we're experienced at it and um, our players are just getting on with business. Are you planning to stay here even if Perth comes out of lockdown for the two weeks in the Hawks game? Yeah we will, uh, you know, travelling back and forth three times in a row just takes the sting out of the legs and um, yeah, it doesn't allow you to recover. So we'll stay here until post yeah, Hawthorne. And much... going back to that uh, Ross line, anytime, anywhere, mantra a little bit, or are you putting your oh. own spin on it? I think any team and any any coach would be stressing that to their players at the moment. And um, yeah, I think it's just about making sure that you've um, your focus is where you are, where your feet are, I suppose. Um, you know, we just had a team meeting then, make sure that we're not drifting, make sure um, we're investing in everything we do. Uh, it makes it easier when you're at home um, and you've got normality, but when you're away and there's so many balls up in the air, sometimes your focus can get um, diverted to other things that actually don't help you on the weekend. So um, it's all about being focused, having a really good prep, and you know, the weekend looks after itself if you get that right. How's Nat's shoulder? Uh, good. It's improving day by day. Day by day, um, his strength has come up um, from last week, um, so we're a lot more confident. Does he seem too much to, today? He should do the whole session. Yep. The relocation's come at a pretty important time in your season. You know, you fast forward a couple of weeks and you're able to bank a couple of wins. You might be in the top eight. So I guess not only have you had to shift everything around, but also it's maybe the most important couple of weeks of your season. Yeah. I mean, every every week's important. Um, you know, we're under pressure as a footy club, no matter the situation, whether you're fighting for finals, fighting for top four, you know, bottom four, you always got pressure on you as a football club um, and as, as a footy team to win. So, yeah, this week's no different. I think it's just been confirmed GMHBA is the ground for you guys. Yep. It's obviously a narrow city ground. I mean, what are your experiences like there? And down She's about a few experiences down there. They're not all great. Um, back to when I was a player, um, and as a coach, but we won't be playing Geelong. <laughs> um, so there's no real home ground advantage. 
uh, we feel, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. It's, you know, goal posts and point posts at each end, and yeah, there's still a contest to be won, and just got to get the job done. Could I just ask one uh, last one? I think there was um, a, a bit of uh, question marks over mask wearing on the flight over. I mean, little things like that. Um, I mean, it's, is it difficult to focus on the little things like that when everything's going on? Yeah, I mean, I don't think that incident was the end of the world, but it's a um, it's a good reminder for us that. You know, the public look at us to set the example, and we weren't quite good enough. Both clubs weren't quite good enough in that moment, so it's just a good wake-up call for us to make sure we um, abide by all government regulations, and we'll continue to do that to our best ability. You, got, you have guys like Ethan Hughes and Aiden Young ready to come back in nearly. Yeah. Um, and what's the challenge like for you guys to, to get some game time into those? Yeah, well, that's that's probably the trickiest thing. No state league footy um, in in WA this week when they were both due to come back, so. We just have to try and best prepare them to play by training and um, making sure we, as coaches, make uh, good training drills that best allow them to bridge the gap between um, yeah, rehab and AFL, um, both pretty important players to us and we'd love them back in the team, so it's a bit of a hiccup. It's only a little thing, Justin, but would you prefer Carton to have had to get on a plane and, and get, a, I guess, prepared a bit more for an away game? Uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, you know, I'd love to be playing them at Optus in front of the Purple Army, absolutely. But, yeah, circumstances haven't allowed it. It is what it is. Sick of sun, that's not the greatest um, line of all time, but um, circumstances are, are what they are, so we just need to get on with it. Uh, it's, can't, yeah, hope for other things that can't be done. So, um, yeah, we just need to make sure our focus is in the right areas and we do our best on the weekend. Just on Matt's role this weekend, will you spend more time for with Tavano? No, we, no, we think we'll play him around the midfield. Um, yeah, it's his best position. He's one of the best inside mids in the comp. Uh, he'll spend his time forward, but yeah, the, his role prior to going out of the team was more probably 80-20 midfield forward, so we'll continue to look at that. And what are your restrictions like to wait for footing? So, so you've obviously tested negative and you're free to sort of live out those for the Melbourne? Yep, yep, yep. We were... Yeah, confined to our hotel rooms until we got the negative results back and th thankfully everyone passed and got a negative result and now we're yeah, just abiding by Victorian government. We saw, saw Matt DeBoer tag Sam Walsh two weeks ago, so you know, did a pretty effective job. We see Caleb Strong do that this weekend? Nope. Uh, we'll look at it. We'll look at it. Um, you know, last time we played Carlton, their midfield as a, as a group got, got the better of us. Um, they dominated us in a lot of areas through the midfield battle and yeah we need to make sure we, you know Cripps doesn't get a hold of us, Kerno doesn't get a hold of us and yeah obviously Walsh is in really good form so um, yeah I think it's going to be a collective. Just the intangible of morale and energy in the group, how much does being alive in the season help your job and help keep the boys on task? Yeah I think it's a big thing, um, you know like, like I said before our season's on the line, um, we've got some real positivity out of the last two weeks. Uh, you know, our playing group has um, kept that energy all the way through the year, but we've got something to really play for now. So, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Hopefully that continues, um, and hopefully, um, you know, our players can put some of the distractions behind them and just really, you know, focused on uh, be focused on their preparation for this week. Have there been any questions yet about families joining? No, we're still holding out hope that after the Hawthorne game we'll go back to WA. I mean, I think there's been some good results over the last couple of days from um, WA. Hopefully that continues um, and we can get some home games back into the year. How many have you brought over? Uh, we brought all our, <clears throat> all our players that are fit yeah. over, so um, 34, 35 I think it was. So um, yeah, just left a few long-term injured players at home.